Where is Smelly Ann Skunk? Pictures and Story by Janet Hill and Chris Tillen. Read by Shannon McCarthy. Well now, it was a fine spring day in the North Woods. Birds were tweeting, honeybees were humming, and chorus frogs were singing peep, peep, peep. But what was Mama Skunk doing? She was looking for her little girl. Smelly Ann, Smelly Ann Skunk, she called. Where are you, you little stinker? When the chorus frogs heard Mama Skunk, they stopped singing. Jeepers, one of them peeped. We forgot all about Smelly Ann. Uh-oh, another frog peeped. We were supposed to be watching her. We have to find her or Mama Skunk is going to be so mad. The chorus frogs began calling for Smelly Ann too. They all made so much noise that the other woodland friends rushed over to see what was going on. Soon everyone was looking high and low for Smelly Ann. Where could she be? Moose and Squirrel checked the bushes, but she wasn't there. Beaver and the chorus frogs looked down by the lake, but they couldn't find her. Fox and Rabbit peeked inside hollow trees and stumps, but Smelly Ann was not there either. All through the woods, everyone was calling, Smelly Ann, Smelly Ann, where are you? Then Baby Rabbit looked up and shouted, I see her, I see her, she's up there. All the forest friends stopped and looked up. Sure enough, Smelly Ann was way up in a birch tree. Mama, Smelly Ann called. Mama Skunk looked up. Her foot went tap, tap, tap. Come down from there right this minute, little missy. I don't know how, Smelly Ann cried. Her chin trembled and a tear rolled down her cheek. Oh, Smelly Ann, Mama called to her. Don't worry, I'll help you get down. Yes, we'll all help, everyone shouted at once. We'll all help, but let's think, said Mouse. What's the best way to get her out of that tree? So everyone thought really hard for a while. I think I've got it, Beaver shouted. I can chew on that tree and make it fall down. Then Smelly Ann will come down too. Terrific idea, everyone said. So Beaver sank his long front teeth into the tree. But just then Fox said, wait, Wait, if you make the tree come down, Smelly Ann might fall and hurt herself. Let's keep thinking. Goodness me, right you are, Beaver said, picking some bark from his teeth. They all thought about it some more. Then Bear said, hey, how about this? I'll climb the tree and carry Smelly Ann down. All the animals thought that was a terrific idea. So Bear began to climb. But when he got halfway up, the tree started to bend. It started to crack. Whoa, Nelly! Bear let go and dropped into the bushes with a loud crash. Oh me, oh my, what can we do? Mama Skunk worried. Moose looked down at Bear, who was lying on the ground. Ooh, nice one, Bear, he said, trying not to laugh. Here's an idea. What if I stand by the tree and all of you get up on my back and make a ladder? Then Smelly Ann can climb down. Terrific idea, the woodland friends said, and they began to climb up on Moose. Soon they were very close to Smelly Ann. At the top of the ladder, Squirrel reached out for her. Whoops! Squirrel lost her balance. They all fell down, but not Smelly Ann. 
She was still up in the tree, still holding on tight. My stars, cried Mama Skunk, not again. Well, phooey, none of their ideas were working, but the woodland friends didn't give up. Nobody wanted Smelly Ann to be stuck in the tree. It was getting dark and they needed a terrific idea really soon. Suddenly, Baby Rabbit spoke up again. I know, I know, she said. The others looked at her and wondered how a baby could have a better idea than the ones they had. Then Baby Rabbit said, Fox, please run and get Grandpa Raccoon and ask him to bring us his quilt. Fox ran through the woods as fast as she could to Grandpa Raccoon's house. She found him playing his banjo and humming a little tune. Help, Grandpa Raccoon, Fox called. Smelly Ann is stuck in a tree. May we use your quilt to help get her down? Uh, yep, Grandpa Raccoon replied. He grabbed his quilt and followed Fox to the tree. Baby Rabbit said to the other animals, Now let's all hold on to this quilt and pull it tight. Then she looked up at Smelly Ann and shouted, Jump! Smelly Ann knew that Baby Rabbit had the most terrific idea of all. She let go of the tree and fell and fell and fell and landed plop right in the middle of the quilt. As the friends all danced around happily, Squirrel said, let's have a party. Everyone come to my house and I'll bake us a nice acorn pie. We all help today. Yes, Fox agreed. Baby Rabbit is as smart as she can be and all of us showed Smelly Ann that we care about her very much. At the party, the friends ate acorn pie, pine cone cookies, and brambleberry cake. They helped themselves to fiddlehead stew. They were all so happy that Smelly Ann was safe. And what did Mama Skunk do after the party? She wrapped Smelly Ann in her arms and the two of them snuggled for a long, long time. Yes siree, it was a fine spring day for all the friends in the North Woods. As the moon came up, the chorus frogs sang for joy. Peep, 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 Smelly Ann's asleep. We're all so glad her mom's not mad. Peep, peep, peep. The end. For more information, visit smellyandskunk.com. To purchase the book, go to etsy.com slash shop slash raspberry island co.